Hi folks, this is our second demonstration of bull riding. And today we have 2020 fictional rodeo. It's not based off real rodeo like we saw last time. This is the fictional group. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to click on it, give it a like. You can find this game at gitchplay with two A's dot wordpress dot com. And we're gonna jump in and I'll explain it as we go. And first thing you do is you decide what bull gets pulled for the riders. And up first we have handsome Jake Beers from Yuma, Yuma, Arizona. And he rolls a five. A five means he gets the top bull. So he is gonna draw Agatha. So handsome Jake Beers against Agatha. You roll two dice. You assign the red one to the uh, rider and the white one to the bull. And then you check on trait qualities so there's a trait quality chart for the riders a two is tough and handsome jake beers is tough and it kind of goes down one two three four five uh, so one is strong two is tough three is balance four is handsy five on the die is flexible and six would be brave so two is tough and Handsome Jake Beers has that tough, so he's going to be feeling good for the ride. And for the bulls, Agatha is, we drew a strong, Agatha is not strong. So this particular ride is feeling good on a rideable bull, which is right here. And Handsome Jake Beers is a choice of going with no spears, one spear, or two spears. More, the more spurs you use, uh, the more likely you're going to get bucked off. I think he's just going to try and get a good score here on the first day. It's a Friday, and we're going to roll for him. It's a 7, and a 7 for feeling good with no spurs on a rideable bull is 8.0 seconds, 84 points. So that's a good ride for Handsome Jake, and he is off to the races. And we'll swap out the bulls. Uh, next up is Dusty Fairweather from Austin, Texas. And he is going to draw number three as a bull with four traits. So he's going to draw nut Rusty Nail. So draw for the traits. Three is um, balance. And Dusty does not have that. So he's going to be under the weather for this ride. And Rusty Nail draws a six, which is leaps. And he does not have it. So we have... Under the weather and a rideable bull. Again, first time, they're just trying to get a score, so we're gonna use no spurs. Draws a five, we're gonna to go to the grid grade chart. So when we go to the grid grade, grid grade chart, uh, we take a look, Dusty Fairweather. Oh, I didn't give these guys a grid grade. Uh, usually they all start off with C's when you begin, so. Every time they win a rodeo, they go up. And sometimes on the chart, they will go up if you have, if you're using two spurs. So Dusty Fairweather is a C and he used no spurs. So his grit grade is actually going to go down by one. So he goes down by one. So it wasn't aggressive. wasn't aggressive enough on the bull. And his time for a C is 8.0. He does get 85 points on the ride. So 8.085 points. He is now the leader uh, on this particular event. Uh, next up is going to be Spike Messam from Dallas, Texas. We will swap out Rusty Nail as the bull. And he's going to draw the first one. The other riders get to choose, and usually they're going to grab the best bull. They don't want to see the guy do very well. Uh, and... He's going to draw Big Bertha. So Spike Messam, there's the roll. Two is tough, which he has, so he's feeling good. Big Bertha, three is kick, which he has, so we're feeling good on a nasty bull. And again, he's going to go to no spurs. It's a 12, minus one on the grit grade, but he does get a ride of 8.0 for 88 points. So he becomes the leader, but unfortunately... He is going to lose a grit grade. All right, we're going up to our next rider, Rags Johnson from 
Calgary, Alberta. And he is going to draw number three, which is a bowl with four traits. So we'll move Big Bertha to the back, and he's going to draw Brutus. And let's see how Rags is feeling on this Friday. He gets the four, which is Hansy, which he has. And Brutus draws one, which is Horns for the bull trait. So we have feeling good on a nasty bull, which would be this category right here. Let's see what Rags does today. It's a five. He's going to go to the grit grade chart. That might not be a good thing with no spurs. And he's a C, no spurs. 8.0. He is going to last it. He's going to get 85 points. So each rider gets a full ride, but he will also go minus one on the grit grade chart for not using any spurs. So um, a little bit defensive for the first rides for all these guys. And they all go down on the grit grade chart. Not a good thing. Um, swap out Brutus. And we move on to Saturday. So this is a brand new day. We start off with handsome. Jake Beers from Yuma, Arizona, and he's going to draw a six. Your choice. I think he wants to draw Smitten. Only has three traits. Let's see how he does. Uh, six. Does he have Brave Trait? No, he doesn't. Uh, smitten, five is powerful. He is powerful. So we are going to be under the weather against a nasty bull. So under the weather, nasty bull. He's going to... Doesn't look too good. He's going to go with one spur. He's already got a score. Mind you, he was in last place. Um, yeah, he'll go one spur. Let's see what he does. Actually, let's go two spurs. He's got to try and go up. Draws a five. Five is going to go to the grit grade chart. So he's a C. And he has two spurs. Whoa, that is going to work out fantastic for him. He stays on. We're at 8.0. He's going to... Score 88 points, which puts him into the lead. And he also goes up by one grit grade for using those two spurs. So you're more likely to get bucked off when you have two spurs. But if you hit that grit grade chart, he had some Jake Beers and now becomes a B rider. So good for him. He's now in the lead. We're going to move Smitten to the bottom. And our next... Next up is Dusty Fairweather from Austin, Texas. And he is going to draw a bull with four qualities. He's going to draw a rusty nail. Here comes the event. Dusty Fairweather, five flexible. He has it, so he's feeling good for this ride. Rusty nail is a leaper for leaps. No, he doesn't have it. So it's going to be feeling good on a rideable bull. So he is going to try two spurs. Let's go for it. It worked well. He's... Right now in last place, so he's going to try two spurs, draw a nine, and ah, he gets bucked off. So good try by Dusty Fairweather, but does not get it. We're going to change that out. Next up is Spike Messam. Spike's from Dallas, Texas. He's going to draw number three, which is a bull with four qualities. He's going to draw Brutus. So let's see how he does. Um, oh, just before I do it, I got to establish. Oh no, let's just check the traits first. Uh, six, is he brave? He is not. It's the only one he doesn't have. Poor Spike. Uh, for the bull, powerful. No, he doesn't have it. So we're under the weather with a rideable bull. Spike is in first place. He might as well go for it with two spurs. So rideable bull, under the weather, two spurs, draws a five, or going to the grit grade chart. Now, remember, he got nailed last time because he didn't have any spurs. This time he had two spurs, so his grit grade is going to go back up. He gets in a full ride, 8.0, but it's 87 points. His first one was 88. He did a little bit better on, but his grit grade will go up by one. So Spike Messam now gets back to where he was at a C. And if you win the event, you'll also go up, and it's Rags Johnson. So the last rider here on a Saturday, Rags Johnson, is going to draw a bull with five qualities. He's going to draw Agatha. Oh, this is going to be a tough ride. And trait we're looking for for him is tough. He has it, so he's feeling good. Trait for Agatha is horns, and 
Agatha is nasty. Right now, Mr. Rags Johnson is in last place, so he is going to try for two spurs on this bull. Uh, not sure a great idea, but let's, let's give it a whirl, see what he gets. He draws a 10, he gets bucked off. Uh, good try. He's trying to go for all the money, and he didn't get it. All right, we're going to move on to Sunday. The last ride, the winner of... of um, the winner of this event who has the best score over the three days. And right now it's a tie between handsome Jake Beers and Spike Messam. They both have rides of 88 points. So Jake Beers is going to draw number one, which is the other riders choose. So they're going to, they want him to ride Big Bertha. They want to see him get bucked off. What the qualities come out to number one is strong he does not have it four is strong for the bull he does have it so he's going to be under the weather against a nasty bull he's currently in first place um he's going to try two spurs he's going to go for it that's some jake beers draws a six he gets bucked off so he is going to finish in a tie for first place. We move on to Dusty Fairweather from Austin, Texas. We'll just move out Big Bertha. And there's the roll. That's a two. He is going to draw a bull with five qualities. He is going to draw Agatha. So Dusty Fairweather, what does he look like? One is strong. He has it. One is horns. The bull has the trait. So we're feeling good with a nasty bull. He is currently in last place, so he is going to go for two spurs. He's going to give it to that bull to try and get a, a great score and try and win this event. And he rolls a seven, and he gets bucked off. So good try there by Dusty Fairweather. We move on to Spike Messam. Spike is currently in first place. He's your top rider. Uh, he is going to draw a bull with four qualities. He's going to draw a rusty nail. See how he makes out here. He draws a five, which is for flexible, which he has. And the bull draws horns. He doesn't have it. So he's feeling good on a rideable bull. Um, Spike Messam is in the lead. Um... Does he go to try and bump up? Yeah, he's going to go two spurs. He's going to give it to uh, Rusty Nail, see what he does. He draws a seven, and he stays on for eight seconds, and he draws 88 points from the judges, and that's still the same as what he had. So he's still in first place. We said two great rides. And our last rider in this event is Rags Johnson from Calgary, Alberta. He draws bull uh, with five qualities. He's going to draw a big Bertha. There's the roll. It is a three. We're looking at balance. And the bull quality is strong. So he's feeling good on a nasty bull. He's got to go for it. Rags is in last place with 85 points. Um, or he's in third place, I guess. Um, so he's going to go for it. He's going to give the bull two spurs on the ride, try and get a high score from the judges. See what he gets. He draws an eight and he gets bucked off. So our winner today is, it is a tie. Spike Messam and handsome Jake Beers will split the prize money for today in our 2020 fictional rodeo, The Bull Rider. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you like the game, again, you can pick it up at Gitch dot gitch play p l a a y dot wordpress dot com that event today you just saw is bull riding have a good day folks mm -hmm.